I'll tell you a tale! Yes! Once upon a time, there was a fisherman, and a fisherman had a wife, and they lived together, but they lived together in a very smelly, small hovel at the edge of the sea. It stank. And they weren't very happy. Well, she wasn't. And she had one apple tree, and she would sit on the doorstep peeling apples while her husband went off fishing. Well, he one day pulled on his oil skins and on his boots and he climbed into his boat and he took his oars and get hold of your oars everyone he rowed and he rowed and he rowed out across the ocean it was calm and there upon the ocean he fished all day long and at the end of a long day of fishing he finally caught something on his line it was a flat fish, a flounder. <laughs> Spare my life, fisherman. I will give you whatever you want. A speaking fish? Oh, I want nothing. I'm happy with my life, said the fisherman. I can't keep a speaking fish. I send you back under the waves. He took his balls and he rowed and he rowed. And he rowed back to the shore. And when he got back to the shore, there was his wife, and she was peeling apples. And she said, did you catch any fish? And he said, well, I got nothing for us to eat. But as they ate their apple supper, he told her what he had seen. He told her about the fish. And she said, fool, you foolish man. Go back and ask that fish for a house, a nice house with a garden with fruit trees and a vegetable patch. Go back, husband. Oh, wife, I'm happy enough with what know. we've got. And she said, if you don't do this, I won't love you. So he pulled on his oil skins, he pulled on his boots, he got in his boat and he rowed. And he rowed and he rowed. And he came to that place in the ocean and he called, listen, flounder, flounder, deep in the sea, my wife Elsinore wants you to come to me. And up rising from the waves came the flounder. What do you want, fisherman? My wife wants a fine house with a garden vegetable patch and fruit trees. Go home, fisherman. It is done. And the fish disappeared behind the waves, beneath the waves. And he rowed, and he rowed, and he rowed. And when he got back to the shore, he found not a stinking hovel, but a fine house with a garden, a splendid garden with fruit trees. There were apple trees. And there were pear trees, and there were even banana trees. It was quite uh, exotic in the south of Devon, yeah. And there were orange trees. Well, there were these fine fruit trees, and there was a vegetable patch with delicious cabbages and carrots and carrots and carrots. Well, okay, enough. <laughs> and there was this splendid garden, and there was his wife at the door. And cabbage. And they went inside, <laughs> and she was happy for a while. And cabbage. And one day, as they were eating their cabbage soup, she said to her husband, Husband, it's not enough for me. Go back to that fish. This small house isn't enough. I want to rule over all the land. I want to be queen. Oh, but wife, I'm happy with what we got. And she said, if you, you don't, don't do this, I, I won't, won't love you. So he pulled on his oilskins, he pulled on his boots, he got into his boat and he rowed and, and he, he rowed, rowed and he, and he rowed. rowed. And the sea was no longer calm, there were waves Whoa. breaking. And over the waves he came to that place and he called, are you ready? Flounder, flounder, deep in the sea, my wife Elsinore wants you to come to me. And from under the waves there rose the flounder. The wind was blowing. What do you want, fisherman? 
My wife wants to be queen. She wants a palace. She wants to wear ermine furs and a crown of gold. She wants guards in shining uniforms. She wants to rule over all the land. Go home, fisherman. It is done. And the fish disappeared beneath the waves, and he took the oars, and across the rough sea, he rowed, and he rowed, and he rowed. And when he came to the shore, there stood a magnificent palace of gold. And there were gardens with fine liveried guards in shining uniforms. And he walked through the palace door, and there in the throne room, he found his wife wearing ermine furs and a crown of gold, and she sat in her throne. And she was happy for a while. But after a while, she said to her husband as they were eating their special supper, Husband, this is not enough for me to rule over this land. I should be greater than this. Husband, I want to rule over everything. I want to be God. Oh, wife, what are you saying? I'm happy with what we've got. If you don't do this, I won't love you. So he pulled on his oilskins and he pulled on his boots and he got into his boat and he rowed and he rowed and he rowed and the sea was rough and the wind was wild and the thunderstorm was coming. Lightning flashed down from the sky. Come on, lightning people. And he rode over the high waves, and the waves were black and dangerous, so they crashed over the bowels of the boat. And when he came to that place, he called, ready? just a red streak of blood in the water. And he took his oars and he rowed and he rowed and he rowed and when he came to the shore on the calm sea you know what he found. What did he find when he got back to the shore? A cave. His wife was there. There was the smelly old hovel and there was his wife sitting on the doorstep and you know what she was doing? Carving apples. She was peeling apples. 